Talk about what you guys were able to do offensively to have so much success Saturday. Uh, just getting in the rhythm, you know. Defense played great first off, you know, give all the credit to them. They had six turnovers, I think, and you know, two for touchdowns. So uh give all the credit to them that made us, you know, motivated to even go down there and score after all those turnovers they made and uh you know, we just stuck stuck with the game plan like we have been the last few weeks and uh just executed a lot better than uh, than we did before the last three weeks. So and it was overall it was a good game from every position. How did you feel to come back home and get that, that win? Yeah, last two games at home we haven't played good at all and uh Thank, thankful we uh, came back and it was, we put on a pretty good show for the fans who actually stayed, you know, when it was raining. So uh, it was it was pretty good showing for us. Uh, you just talked about Jed Solomon, the Sun Belt Conference um, special teams player. Oh, yeah, I have it for Jed. Jed's one of my good buddies and uh, very excited to see him. Uh, I think I had 15 total points in the game, three field, three field goals, six extra points, you know. Just excited for him to accomplish that. What are you guys looking to improve on heading into this weekend's game? Uh, yeah, they're Georgia Southern's a good football team. I think they're six and two. The uh, beats beat. Uh, I don't think they're like four one maybe conference. And uh, you know, just just have a good week of practice. You know, it starts tonight and uh, just uh, stacking everything like Coach Brown always says. Couple of really spectacular catches in the first quarter, particularly Johnson. Uh, yeah. That's got to motivate you as you get the offense. Oh, yeah, John. Like you know, John had a, you know, what happened last week, you know, he overcame that and, you know, had a very good catch start the game. That just got us going offensively. Uh, overall thoughts on uh, the performance Saturday? Mm, I think we, um, we really showed up with a lot of energy and um, it just, we got a couple of big plays early and it really sparked the team and, um, after that, I just kind of kept rolling on like that. What did you like to get back under, uh, out in front of the home crowd? Uh, it's great. It's always a great atmosphere playing here at Troy. Um, I love coming home, playing home games, and uh, it just felt good to be back home instead of having a long trip. Talk about Jed Solomon, uh, the Sun Belt uh, Special Teams Player of the Week. Um, definitely deserving of that. He's um, had an outstanding year. He's um, we challenged him a lot in practice. Um, moving around the kicks a lot and deep and putting good pressure on him. And he's um, been nailing them, and he's definitely deserving of that. It seems like you guys overwhelmed them <coughs> on the line from the start of the game. Um, was that just something you did to prepare, or was that just you guys being so much better on the line, do you think? Um, could be a little bit of both. Uh, I think we did a very good job of our preparation about midweek to um, Friday coming into the game. And then really just everybody showing up and doing their job. Um, we had a couple of mistakes here and there, but you're always going to have those. And um, I think overall, just played very well. You had two interceptions. Uh, can you talk about your defensive performance Saturday? Um, very happy. <laughs> um, I just think I had I got to um, take advantage of some good opportunities this time. Got a couple steals. Um, and I'm just very glad I got a really good performance. I just hope I can keep getting better and stay consistent with it. What are some things you guys are looking to improve on this week in practice? Um, it seems like uh, coming in this week, we're playing a team that's very run heavy. So I think tackling and um, how we do up front with our front seven is definitely going to be a big focus. How does the secondary go about preparing for a triple option team if you don't see much? Um, depends on how we scheme it up and what use we'll have. Um, with teams like that, you got to be very careful because um, they tend to um, try to rock you to sleep and then try to hit you with a big play. And that's normally how they um, how they operate, they try to run the ball a lot and then get the DBs to sleep and then throw one over their head. So it's pretty much staying patient, staying awake. Anything else? Uh, can you just talk about the mindset of the team? You know, you guys are uh, really having some success here lately. So kind of what's the approach, uh, I guess, heading into this weekend, just like the overall mindset? Um. I think we like where we are, so we we just want to keep focusing more of the process. Coach always rein, reiterates that with us, um, not being outcome oriented, but process oriented. So next play, one day at a time, one game at a time. You had that huge sack that forced the fumble. So what was that? Was that the momentum swing right at the beginning of the game? I think it kind of helped that. Uh, honestly, I thought they were going to overturn it when they started reviewing it, and so uh, I didn't really because I. I saw myself coming free off the edge, and I knew I was going to have a shot to hit it out. And I didn't knock it out, but I do think it really sparked our defense to kind of start strong, and we kind of focused on 
if we can start fast and get up on them fast, it'll help us out all game because we'll have that same mentality the whole game. And so I do think it did kind of spark the whole defensive because we had six turnovers that whole game, and that was the first one. And so I think that did help. Yeah, there were a bunch of players after post game that said that that one really sparked it kind of going. Did you feel it on the sideline when you walked out there? I think I did. I, you know, you come over the sideline, everybody's celebrating, high fiving, and jumping around. I think it helped also, you know, we scored on that same play, and I think that helped that whole turnover and scoop and score, and we got a defensive touchdown off of it. And I think that really did help our defense at the beginning of the game, especially to kind of have that same mentality the whole game. Can you talk about Jet Solomon um, and his, uh, uh, his the Sun Belt Conference special teams player of the week? Yeah, that's great. Uh, I think uh, Ryan K actually told me he was, I think, was it one field goal away from breaking the Troy record in a game for field goals? And I mean, that's awesome. But, you know, he's been like that all year. You know, I can really, I know when he goes out there to kick a field goal, I don't really have to worry that much if he's going to make it or miss it. Because I have a lot of faith in him that he's going to make those kicks, you know, continuously throughout the year. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, this week, uh, what you guys are doing to prepare uh, for this week's game? I think this week, uh, defensive, I think we're probably going to simplify down our play calls a lot uh, than what we usually carry in. We carry in uh, multiple plays week to week, but I think this week we're going to focus focus on the things that'll stop because they're a triple option team. So you know, every, somebody's got to take the dive, somebody's got to take the quarterback, somebody's got to take the pitch man. You have to be sound in all three of those elements to really shut down a team that runs that kind of offense. And so to do that, I think we're probably going to simplify our playbook down. I mean, we're still going to have things to mix things up and to to come at it from different angles to just change everything up from play to play. But I think that's what we're going to do on defense this week. 15 points, man. Uh, can you just talk about what it felt like for you to get back out in front of the home crowd and have the success that you had? Oh, it felt really good. Um, I mean, it felt really good to, to get a home win. Um, I think our, our home crowd definitely deserves that, and, and we definitely deserve it too. So. Uh, the 15 points felt awesome. My leg was really tired towards the end of the game, but but uh, it, it felt really good to to make the three field goals and the six or so extra points and 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 whatnot. And so it was a I guess a really big accomplishment um, for me. What was it like to What's it like to receive the special teams player of the week? Oh, that's I mean especially for this week because I, I watched. Um, the Ark State versus App State game, and the Ark State kicker had a really good game, and then the Lafayette kicker against Georgia State had a really good game. So, I guess um, to say I, I, I beat them out for for special teams player of the week in the Sun Belt, uh, it's it's a really big accomplishment for me, and and I'm very uh, I'm proud of it. Just run it, like walk through the thought process uh, when you found out how you found out. Uh, I was uh, I just got home from class. I was laying in my bed watching TV, and uh, my dad called me and and said. Were you not going to tell me? And I was like, tell you what, what are you talking about? And he was like, you don't know? And I was like, no. He said, well, you got special teams player of the week. I was like, oh, wow, you know, that, that's really cool. I, I have no idea. I didn't know I got that until then.